past fit for Saturday's opener against Leicester. Today, councillors refused to issue a safety certificate. They're going to have another look tomorrow. Just four months ago, Meadow Lane was an old, decrepit ground. It had ageing stands with tatty and tired woodwork that looked like it had been left to cry and fade with its memories. The old magpies had to go, but now they're back. This summer, with nearly three and a half million pounds spent on it, the new Meadow Lane has risen from the ashes. And the result really does look quite superb. Three brand new stands. But today, officials inspecting the new stadium refused to issue a safety certificate. Seats are still to be fitted. There's rubbish still littering the ground. Work needs to be done before it gets the all clear. Well, the local authority are meeting here on the ground at the moment. They're not 100% happy. They won't issue the certificate until tomorrow. But they're, they're happy to buy the time. They know we've had a lot to do in a very short time and they're very sympathetic. So they'll be working through the night again at Meadow Lane, expecting to get the ground fit for another safety inspection tomorrow and then the go-ahead for Saturday's derby game with Leicester City. Yes, it should be some game on Saturday and quite a tasty one coming up next week at Field Mill with man swearing at them over a public address system. Leaders of supporters groups now say they'll drop moves to have him charged with bringing the game into disrepute. The verbal attack came during the match between Notts County and Leicester City at Meadow Lane on Saturday. Following the transformation of the ground in just 17 weeks, the Notts County chairman, Derek Pavis, wanted to thank the contractors and supporters at half-time. He said the Leicester fans drowned him out. It wasn't a word that I used to the supporters. I pulled the mic away and spoke to the foreman of Molens who was standing next to me, and that's when I used that insensitive word. Do you regret using that now? Of course, totally. It was just a question of the, the microphone being too good and picking up what you said. Oh, that's right. Supporters group said the outburst brought the game into disrepute and demanded an apology from Mr. Pavis. It's a very easy thing to do, I think, uh, that for him to, uh, to apologise for the actions that he took on, on Saturday and to say that, that he didn't really mean it uh, and that he would welcome the Leicester fans uh, in future. That's all he needs to do. Uh, and uh, then it can all be forgotten. He was sort of introduced as Mr. Knox County and, uh, you know, he'd done more for the club in five years than what other chairmen have done hundred years. Obviously that winds the other fans up a little bit, you know, they don't like to, to hear that sort of thing. It's a shame because it was a great day for Knox County and I'm sure Mr. Pavis is very proud of his achievements and rightly so because it's a lovely stadium now. Mr. Pavis hopes that the incident can now be forgotten. I was frustrated, I was emotional, it was... It's... It's done, I'm just now. Are you hoping it will just go away now? Well, I don't know what will happen, to be honest. All I can say is that I do apologise to the lesser supporters, and uh, they're always welcome back here. But the next time they come, I won't be making a public speech. Now that the supporters are happy, it's unlikely that the police or football authorities will take any action. You're watching Central News in the...